Hi, I'm Grant Garcia at Orthopedic Specialist of Seattle, and today we're going to talk about a hot topic, cartilage and meniscus transplantation. Just like an organ, we can transplant cartilage or meniscus back into someone's knee. In general, it's a complex specialty, and it's a new specialty we call cartilage restoration. In general, for smaller areas of cartilage that's damaged, we can do small cleanup procedures, or we can do a combination of what we call microfracture or microfracture plus, where we add that plus some biocartilage to the lesion itself, and it's had excellent results. For larger areas, which is more commonly what we see, we have options of cartilage transplantation, or what we call Macy, where we take the cartilage, grow it in the lab, and then implant it back into someone's knee. There's a combination of these two is which one we do for each patient, it's patient specific. But understanding that patients under 50 with good alignment and good ligaments, but have had this sort of focal injury are excellent candidates for this. We've seen good results with around 85% good results at 10 years, and at 15 years, we've seen about 80% good results. In general, even if those ligaments or the alignment's poor, we can, re we can do modifications of the surgery and add that to that cartilage transplant. Now, meniscus transplant's a different animal. Most of the patients have had multiple surgeries before, and usually their meniscus has been removed with recurrent meniscectomies. In these cases, as long as there's not a lot of cartilage damage, and again, alignment and ligament stability is important, we can take a cadaver cartilage that's matched to them, customized, and we take the meniscus and some of the bone plugs that are attached to that and re-implant that into their knee. Again, a long recovery, but we've seen excellent results at around 75% at 10 years and around 50 and 70% at 15 years. Now, the important part here is you need someone that's had complex training and an orthopedic specialist of Seattle, you'll get that. We use this with a combination of biologics, occasional stem cells, etc. But to understand this and understand the importance of this is why I'm putting this video together. If you need any more information, please visit my website at www.grantgarciamd.com or make a consultation there. Thank you.